Everyone knows that your freshman year of college is supposed to be full of new experiences, new people, and overall a new lifestyle. However, those terms don't do justice for the time the NUN program has afforded my classmates and I studying abroad for our first semester of college. Before NUN, I hated traveling, and I felt like I had everything I needed already around me. But NUN has since opened my eyes to travel and made me realize and appreciate other cultures and places that you can never truly appreciate until you see and experience them for yourself. My name is Omar Badran, and I'm from Queens, New York City. Living in such a big and great city all my life, I didn't feel like staying in the city for school, while I also didn't want to settle for anything less when it came time to apply to colleges. I had narrowed my sights to universities located in several big cities, Boston being one of my favorites since it was only a four-hour bus ride to and from home. When I stepped foot on the campus of Northeastern University, I fell in love. Northeastern had everything I was looking for in a school, from location to major specialized in. Now, all I had to do was apply and hope to be accepted. And I was. Kinda. My acceptance letter came telling me I was accepted into the NUN Study Abroad program, where freshmen travel to one of five countries around the world and spend their first semester abroad upon returning to attend Northeastern in Boston in the spring. When I received my letter telling me I had been accepted to Northeastern, I was ecstatic. After reading into it and seeing that I would have to go through the NUN program to attend school in the spring, I was perplexed. I always had a fascination with studying abroad since my sister spent six months of her senior year studying in Paris, France, but never in my life would I have imagined that I would be studying in another country before even studying in another state. My parents were very supportive and told me that I should take the opportunity by the horns, so I packed my bags and on August 31st boarded an Aer Lingus flight from LaGuardia Airport and landed at the Dublin Airport. I spent the flight wondering what the semester would hold for me, but little did I know it would afford me experiences and friendships that will last me a lifetime. Living in Dublin has been an adjustment as my classmates and I were forced to be extremely independent when a lot of us never had to be before. Things like laundry, cooking meals, and cleaning were all left up to us, all while still getting a college education at Dublin Business School. DBS was only a 25 minute walk from our apartment complex, so a walk to classes every morning involved walking along Dublin's own beautiful River Liffey. Although Dublin wasn't quite New York City, I still learned to appreciate the capital of Ireland. With my walk to DBS every morning and my service learning every Wednesday, I was able to see more of the city by also learning and riding the Lewis, Dublin's light rail that runs through the whole city. Speaking of service learning, some friends and I volunteered at the Rialto Youth Project, where we were part of the homework club and helped to mentor kids in an underprivileged neighborhood. My coworkers and the kids I taught were friendlier than I could have ever expected. So friendly that when our eight weeks of service learning were up, it was actually hard to say goodbye and to tell the young kids that we wouldn't be coming back. Another impactful part of my time abroad with the NUN program was traveling. As I said earlier, I used to dread traveling. The time spent packing, the airport hassles, the long stuffy plane rides, I didn't think they outweighed the time spent when actually reaching the destination. FIE took us on weekend trips to places like Hoth, Sligo, Galway, Belfast, and Londonderry. It was really exciting to see that there was much more to Ireland than just Dublin, and that Dublin is a small portion of the island of Ireland as a whole. In addition to these weekend excursions, my friends and I also took advantage of a week off from classes in mid-November called Reading Week. We traveled to Barcelona, Paris, Rome, Berlin, and Amsterdam. This was one of the best weeks of my life, as I was pushed out of my comfort zone of being lazy and not liking travel to go out and see many different places that would be a hassle to visit any other time. I experienced hostel life for the first time, and it was also the first time I traveled without my parents, which I think played a part in how enjoyable my experience was. I wish I had the chance to go back in time and tell myself when I first received my acceptance letter to Northeastern that I should without hesitation accept the offer to be a part of the NUN program. Even though I was halfway across the globe and missed my friends and family many times throughout my four months in Dublin, I have no regrets about my decision to become a part of the NUN family. I made lifetime friends, saw landmarks and places I never thought I'd be able to see, and learned to live independently all in my first semester of college. How many people can say that?